first he skyrocketed to fame, so naturally Justin Bieber's next stop is to actually head to space, right? Well, a superstar about to become the first person to make millions of preteen hearts swoon at zero gravity. Justin Bieber will blast off aboard the Virgin Galactic spacecraft along with his manager, Scooter Braun. The price of the interplanetary trip, a quarter of a million bucks. And big dreamer Bieber even tweeted at the Virgin mastermind Richard Branson yesterday saying, let's shoot a music video in space, much to the delight of his fans. You may recall the 19-year-old once tweeted that he wanted to perform in space, which somehow got the NASA seal of approval. Clearly, even the sky isn't the limit for the Biebs. Let's hope there's no paparazzi in space. The talented Canadian may have found himself in hot water with the Paps yet again. There are reports Bieber got into an altercation with a photographer in Miami. The singer allegedly demanded his crew nab the camera while the photog pleaded with them to return it. Apparently they gave it back, but the Biebs may have made off with a SIM card. This is the third reported incident with the Paps in just a week. Just a tip, but maybe it's time to play nice. All right, imagine heading to the theater and having one of the most famous men in the world show up. Brad Pitt's big surprise is on our radar. Moviegoers in Atlanta lost it when Pitt waltzed into an advanced screening of World War Z. Much like he did previously in Jersey and London, the A-lister did his best hype man when he got the crowd pumped up for the zombie flick. We got something that you've never seen before. It's the most intense thing you're going to see all summer. It's so fun, so I'm really happy for you guys to see it. Um, I hope you got snacks. We got t-shirts for everyone when it's over. And uh, have fun. All right. Thank you, guys. Pitt then made a quick exit. World War Z is in theaters two weeks from today. Ben Affleck had a blast at TIFF last year, and he could be coming back to Canada's film festival this fall, along with Mr. Suit and Tie himself, Justin Timberlake. The new film Runner Runner has TIFF written all over it, and here's your first look at the high stakes thriller. But gambling is forbidden on campus. I owe 60 grand tuition due next week, and that's if I don't eat. You're about to jet off to a country you've never been to with a language you do not speak. Do you have any idea how crazy this is? This is a little something for your troubles. Plus, of course, you like sticking around and taking a shot at a real business. Guaranteed seven figures in the first 18 months. Say to see you spend it. What do you say? What do you think? It's still a little early for speculation, but we're willing to bet good money these guys will be walking the tip red carpet come September. This is what we call... There seems to be a new trend among celebs dancing for no particular reason. Diddy released a video called Diddy Jet Dance where, you guessed it, he dances in and around a jet showing us that yes, rich people have moves too, you know, just in case we doubted it. The rap mogul isn't alone. Steven Seagal joined in on the traditional Chechen dance, but it looks more interpretive to us. The action star paid a diplomatic visit to help relations with the U.S., but we're not sure whether he's done more harm than good. And as always, you can weigh in on all of your entertainment headlines by sending us a tweet at NCity. And don't forget, starting Monday, it is Man of Steel week here at BT. We will bring you morning show exclusive interviews with the entire cast. It's the hottest movie of the summer. It's not an S. And only one morning show is invited to sit down with the Man of Steel. So many questions. The entire cast, exclusive only on Breakfast Television.